Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I've got a guest today. Introduce yourself, my hey. friend. Hey, everyone. I'm Destro. I'm uh, coming in as a guest star. Uh, we were originally going to try and do this as a server with me, you know, actually in the game as well, but it uh, didn't work out, and uh, so we're doing this as a screen share through Discord, and I'm going to be offering advice on aesthetic things. Yep. Also, just letting you all know, I added this between episodes, upgraded that to an ender chest, got this. I actually did quite a bit of work between episodes. Uh, a lot of it auto-crafting based, nothing really that fancy, just, you know, setting up the crafters. Um, oh, I also added speed upgrades to my exporters over here. I don't actually want that because it exports them too fast and it makes everything go wonky. But, what I have here is a void portal, so we can go to the void world, which, let's put it right here in the corner, and let's check out this void world. Alright. So oh yeah. We're, what we're working with here. Okay. This is what we we're have, working with. Uh, we have a small, light gray concrete platform in the middle of absolutely nothing. Uh, do you know if monsters can spawn in this dimension? Let me just light the area up. Not anymore, there they go. can't. Now they can't. Perfect. I, I can bring Farrah uh, Flat Lanterns, uh, too. I should probably do that right away. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, I have a poop butt of resources. So, really, it's whatever the heck you think would look good. I can probably yeah. do it. Yeah, I don't know what you have in terms of um, aesthetic mods, other than you've mentioned chisels and bits, which I've worked with a little bit, but not tons. Yeah, well, I've got, well, I've got whatever's in the direwolf pack, uh, so there's the yeah. chisel and bits mod, uh, god, what else is there? I got facades and whatnot from, oh, there's okay. Macaw's Roofs. Let's see, what else is there? Uh, plenty of die stuff and structurize, whatever the heck structurize is. Structurize, okay. And, yeah, I think I think that's about it. Okay. So, no alternate textures on blocks, just whatever we've got in vanilla, plus uh, whatever's in, you know, a handful of Correct. mods. Botania adds some aesthetic stuff, I know. And I saw you have Botania over there. Yes, very much Batania. I'm going to make myself some better food okay. while we're figuring this out. So the, the first question, I suppose, is what colors do you want to use? Um, I like the cooler colors, you know, purples and blues, all that good stuff. Maybe some green. Okay, I'm also a fan of cool, cool colors, so that'll work pretty well. Uh, for the main structure block... What adds marble? Something adds marble. Do you Ash marble? sorcery. Uh, I should have marble here in my pocket storage unit. I got 1.5 thousand blocks of marble. Also okay, 2.5 so thousand blocks. And something. it looks like you can turn that into other types of marble. Through Astral crafting. sorcery. Astral sorcery adds marble. That's what it is. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so astral sorcery is great if you want to, um, do, to do stuff with marble. Because... It adds a few different aesthetic variants of marble uh, just right off the bat. Yes. So the marble, I think, would be a good main building material just because of the astral sorcery variants and allowing you to do a couple different block types. Should I go for uh, for marble bricks, do you think? I like marble bricks. I like marble bricks really, really um, quite a lot as a primary wall material. I think they look really nice. Okay, well, I've got a decent chunk of marble bricks right here. Okay. Probably should have brought some now, more. Here, here's the thing. Um, I would not use marble bricks for both the walls and the floor. You want a you, different material for the floor. You know what? Mossy living rock brick, which all I need to do is get more living rock to get that, might be pretty good. It could be, yeah. Um, living rock can be a bit of a pain to collect tons of, but I got if you have a setup to just make a 
Uh, I don't have it set up to make a ton of it, but we can use it as, like, accent spots. Because there's no mossy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. For sure we can use mossy living rock brick as accent spots. That'll be fine. So what would you recommend for oh, the floor? Man, the, par the particle effects. What would you recommend okay. for the floor in this case? For a floor with marble, um... Let's see. You want to do it blue? Blue looks good. So blue terracotta maybe, or blue concrete? Yeah, blue concrete, or blue terracotta, or, um... See how hard it is in Batania to make the blue... Uh, I can't Oops. remember the names of the darn tile. It's some sort of tile. It's in Batania. Uh... Search me. I don't know. Yeah, do, do a... Do a uh, um, do a search for blue in the... Uh, Oh, uh, the Portuguese pavement. Yeah, those things. Blue Portuguese pavement. Does require living rock. Ah, okay, that uses living rock. That's what I thought. I got 30 of it already. But yeah, that would make a good... That would make another good accent. Maybe not good for the entire floor, because it needs so much living rock, but... Oh, I should, uh... I should definitely turn my fluxo magnet back on. I uh, had that turned off just because I got a couple of things in this area that rely on item drops. Probably gonna upgrade those eventually to mechanism gear, but uh, for now that's what I'm working with. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what if you? Okay, go and go back into uh, your menu and look for tile and see what you have in tile. Uh, purple blocks. Yeah, I can do purple. Yeah, that's a okay. road. Okay. But uh, actually, yeah. Let let me get some. Let me get a bunch of purple blocks. Do I need more? Chorus fruit popped for that. Yes. Yeah. If, if you have, because if you have a way to, you know, farm chorus fruit. Hey, I mean, I got chorus flowers. I can put them yeah, in. Yeah. Basically, infinite uh, purple, right? Like. Yeah. It'll it'll be slow, but I'll I'll just set up a botany pot real quick. Okay. Yeah, because if you're going to be using that as a flooring, then you probably want quite a lot of it. I think that would work pretty well as a flooring. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing you. Uh, so give me... Whoops, not hop, just regular hop. And then... And... No... Chorus. So you go there. I'll need a piece of endstone. We can also use endstone. I got yeah. I got plenty of that, yeah. and it's easy to get more of. It, it's a little close in tone to the uh, the marble. the The thing that you really want is just to not have it be the same color. Yeah. You know? I'm I'm hearing you. Because having the floor and the walls and the ceiling, all, I I like to have all three of those things be different colors. For the ceiling, usually I use some variety of wood. Mm, I'm not too... I'm not the best on wood at the moment. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I got a decent amount of oak, but... I'm, I'm partial to birch myself. That's my favorite to use, but... Uh, going with marble and purple, you might want a dark color of something as the ceiling. So you think purple would work for the floor? Yeah, I think purple for the floor would be good. All right, so let's make a little... Well, I should make a building gadget. That's what I should do. So let's go into gadgets, building gadgets, boom, bam, done. I just gotta figure out how this thing works. Okay, uh, let me go into controls for the gadget. So anchor is H, um, settings menu is G, and undo is U. So what else is on G? So let's make horizontal column, crank the range up to, you know, we'll, we'll do 10 blocks, and don't place on top. So, nice little walkway. Um, what should I do for the railing? Maybe I should just do, like, like a wall? Like a purple uh, I would wall? use iron, I like iron bars as railing. Okay. 
I really wish I didn't have to keep going back and forth between the Void World, but I'll, I'll live. Yeah. Unfortunately, you just have standard iron bars. You don't have a way to turn them into anything else. Uh, look actually under fences. See what kind of fences you got. Well, there's both walls and fences. So, Grongle. Okay. Uh, I have Grongle fences. That's good to know. Lead fence. I don't want to put that much lead into this. No, obsidian. No. I could do obsidian fence. Obsidian fence would look good. Yeah, because I, I got a pretty decent chunk of obsidian. Hmm. What, what, what else? else? What, what else you got? Before you make too much, what uh, else you nether got? Brick. I got see. nether brick fences. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, let's see. check what the walls. What would be a good color to go with purple? Blackstone. Uh, don't, don't have ionite or any of that stuff. Hmm. Uh, prismarine I do not have access to yet. Yeah, uh, prismarine is... Pretty ugly in the standard variant, anyways. What was that on page two? Go over to page two for a second. Okay, what's all of this? Uh, gabbro, dolomite, limestone, granite, scoria, dark scoria, andesite. Hmm. Dolomite, maybe. How much dolomite do I have? I have no dolomite. Uh, you have no dolomite? Okay. No, that's fine. I'm gonna go with obsidian. Obsidian's a good way to go. Yeah. Nice and... Oh, I placed it. I placed it. <laughs> you placed one. Okay, so here's another thing that I like to do. Is you see how you've got the uh, you've got the three wide purper, and then you've got the the edges under which, like the obsidian fence, is on top of it. Yes. I like to do those side ones in a different material. Okay. You know what? Exchanging gadget. I'm I'm suddenly learning why Dyer likes his gadgets so much. <laughs> um, so, exchanging gadget. Uh, what would you recommend doing them as? Let's see. We've got black and purple. We want... Okay, that's not just a fake, so it's actually not there. Hmm. Well, we're going to do marble as the main material, right? So maybe something yeah. in marble. I'm also going to make a quick diamond chisel just for for work and stuff. So I'll, I'll okay, just do a... So uh, go, go look at what kind of marbles you got. <laughs> Not marble brick. We're using our main thing. Uh, one that's... Uh, uh, what's that one in the middle there? Sort of next to the, the pillar? This one? No, no. To the left? That one. Engraved marble. Uh, I can make that. I just... I need to bring a... I need to bring, uh, I'm going to just bring this crafting table with me, because I could definitely use one. Ooh, ooh, you know what actually I should make while I'm here? Chisel bits, yeah. Uh, something so I can do fluids. Okay. Chisel and bits fluids. So I'll just put you over here, uh, we'll grab... A little bit of marble. Alright. So yeah, use that stuff for the side of the... Uh... Alright, so place one down. Grab my exchanging gadget. Break you. And I want to test how good this food is. This is sort of veggie sandwich. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, and I got a, I got a player transmitter set up that's keeping me nice and charged. I don't okay. think these have connected textures though, so they're just gonna be like that. No, nope, they, they, they don't. They don't. don't but uh, they, they look, look good under fences. fences. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're talking about. All right. So let's undo that, and actually want to. I I probably want maybe maybe little stairs going up, like a few steps. If you're going to do that, I wouldn't do any more than one or two, because having fences go up is, uh, a, bit is a thing. Yeah. Maybe go Putting down, actually. It doesn't look super good. Maybe have it go down, actually. Down, down would work. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe go, go down, 
one step. Okay. I'm gonna need to bring water though. Because I don't have flight yet. Yeah. And I'll bring a bucket of lava just for the, uh, whoops. Just for the chisely goodness. So you, whoa, that's a different texture. Uh, water is biome dependent. I, I know, but I've, I've just not seen this one before. So I've never, uh, I don't know what the, uh. It's, it's a void yeah. dimension, it is the void. Oh God. Oh, it, <laughs> okay, apparently you were at the bottom layer of that. Am I, am I at the bottom, oh God. Oh God, you are right. You, you are right, my good further. sir. You I can cannot build a up. basement. I cannot build a basement. No basement. Oh, that's okay. Okay. So, uh, so let's uh, let's build a, a big floor. Okay. Let's start with. I need more purple. Yes, clearly. You what know, is there a is there a liquid glowstone? There isn't. Mm. That's unfortunate. Uh, you don't have. Oh, you don't have uh, liquid glowstone in this pack. No. Oh, there is thermal, but it's just it? not implemented yet. Did they change the name of it? Because thermal, the thermal stuff is what adds. It's like energized glowstone or something. Yeah, I, I don't think it's implemented yet. The energy. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait, they might is. not have. No, yeah, they don't have a. Uh, they don't have energized glowstone yet. Okay. Well, new uh, new version, new problems. Need one more purper, and we okay. can we can just shave the corners off. Yep. Oh, I mean, you're not gonna want you're not gonna want the floor as the very bottom. Like, okay, so when you build in Minecraft and you have walls on top of things, right? Yes. You don't see the the block that is between the bottom block of the wall and the the block of the floor, right? Like, because yeah. it's a you you can see it from the outside, but not on the inside. Yes. So that block can be whatever the hell you want. Okay. Alright. But first things first, what I want to test is... How do I... How do I get... Chisel... How do I... How do I get bits out? Uh... Right click without a bucket. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. You got a lot of lava bits. Yeah, so let's, let's... Do they still hurt? I don't think they do. Uh, if you have a bunch of them, they, like, might slow you down walking over them. And they can be a bit of a pain to pick up. Uh, oh, I, I got a purper. I got a purper. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of chisels and bits. Uh, for just the reason that it takes forever to do anything with it. Gosh darn it. Ah! I'm just, just breaking it. Just break it and replace just, it. Just break it and replace it. Into the void! Gosh darn it. Into the void. Yeah, so. Problem solved. Hmm. Okay, but I, I know there's ways to do better stuff with uh with chiseling okay. bits. So there, there is um one thing that I could and I know that you can um you can save them as like a template. 
yet kind of thing. And then just place down a bunch of those as long as you have enough bits for it. Alright, so let's try... Let's try doing a line. Why is it... Okay, I gotta figure out how to rotate. Gotta figure out how to tate. Rotate. Held. Clockwise. We'll do Z. No, still not working. Yeah. Cause I, I haven't played around too much with chisels and bits, so I'm, I'm not a... Uh, Not super familiar with how to work it. Yeah. But I think you could build a pretty cool little lantern out of um, lava and something else. Make it, you know, on all four sides so it's omnidirectional, and then just place a bunch of those. Oh, it places up like that. Uh, let's try... Here, let's try from, nope. I don't think you'll be able to place anything in those blocks because they already have fence in. Ah, you're right. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Oh, you're right, this does take forever. Yeah, this is why I'm not, like, you can do a bunch of really cool stuff with chisels and bits. Ah, uh, it, 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 it just has limited so range, that's all. Now, my question would be, does this thing do light? And, okay, yeah, I, I will, I will chisel my bits later, may, possibly. Yeah, wor worry about the chiseled bits later. Yeah. So let's Those get back are just to, a thing. You. What happened to my. There's my building gadget. You know what? I'm gonna actually put that stuff away. You. You. Avast. Alright, so I've got this. Gabo. Portuguese pavement, that's what that is. Yep. Now, a good thing to do with that would be turn it into stairs and use it as kind of a roofing thing. Can I turn you into stairs? I can. Absolutely you can, because that is a base function of Portuguese pavement in Britannia. Good. So, let's come over here and stair that bad boy up. Yep, and now you can use that as, um... Well, we should, we should probably build some walls before we work on a ceiling. Yeah, sure, build some walls. Put in some, some walls. All right, so vertical wall, uh, vertical column, range of five. I think that sounds good. Sure. Don't know why it's only building to four high. Possibly it's trying to include the uh, yeah, I guess below. that's possible. Now, building with flight is obviously better, but you don't have that yet, so... Yeah, I, I didn't manage to get an elytra from the end city. Okay, so before you put anything next to those uh, to those fences, let me tell you something. When you do a door, order the door in a different material than you've used for the wall. Or the same material, but a different pattern. Okay. Uh, let me just get those. Get some blocks up there. Nope. Nope. Yep. Alright, so let's take that all the way across the top. And sure. How big do you want this door to be? Uh, what kind of door options do I have? I don't really have many. Well, uh, you don't need to do a... Um, An actual physical door. Like I can actual just, doors. You I can, can just, just have it doorway. be straight up open. You're not going to be having mobs spawning around no, here anyways. They'll, they'll be contained. And even if you are, do you have Thaumcraft in this pack? We do not. There is no Thaumcraft. No Thaumcraft. Okay. 
I don't know if there's anything else that adds it, but Thawncraft has a block that prevents mobs from walking over top of it. I could do Batania flowers that do something like that. Yeah, the, you could do a Batania flower. You could stick like a floating one by the door or something, and it would just prevent yeah. mobs from coming. Probably two possible. for symmetry's sake. So how does that look? How would how do you say that? That's look? a good block. I like that block. All right, got a nice little building area in here. Yeah, there you go. And you got your, your door. All right. So we're going to bust open the walls in the middle so I can expand outwards. Okay. If you're going to expand outwards, what I like to do is make sure that the doors are, like, symmetrically placed. You don't have to, I'm, but I'm I like symmetry. That. I'm doing so. that. And, yes, they are nice and symmetrical. Well, but go, I perfect. should I should probably uh, give them the same texture on the outside, shouldn't I? Yes. Same as the yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be the pretty episode, guys. This is the the episode of prettification and uh, learning how to build aesthetic stuff in Minecraft. And then. And I you... think you made them four high. Yeah. And just the door, the door frames. Man, this building gadget is convenient. Oh yeah, we're we're doing all kinds of fun stuff with uh, with uh, gadgets that I've never I've never used. I've always just built everything by hand. Oh god, that sounds like that sounds painful. Uh, occasionally, I would have builders' wands, which I forget yeah, what they're from. But they they're, just place stuff on top uh, of other I stuff. I think I think that's their own mod. Yeah, uh, it might have been from Chisel, or it might have been from uh, Open Blocks, or one of those like kind of everything mods. Um, I think it. I think Extra Utilities has a Builder's Wand. I think it was Extra Utilities, I but think there's there's their own dedicated Builder's Wand mod. Yeah. Anyways, I think the one I had was Extra Utilities, and uh, oh. that's what I was using to uh, to like make walls and stuff really high. But everything else, it's just by hand. That's the way I've always done it. It's the way my dad did it. It's the way I'm going to do it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you don't belong up there. That's the way it was done by my dad and his dad and then his dad before him. They all had Minecraft because they were time travelers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's good stuff. Um, okay, so I'm going to want a higher level for sure. Which, but I don't want ugly stairs. So for that, let's see. Um, open blocks, elevators. Work yeah, there's really elevators. Well if you have those, but I got if elevators. you don't, uh, let's go with blue elevator, which just needs. Okay, I'll just do. I think you can. If it works the same as it does in open blocks, you can color them by hitting them with a die. Ah, uh, you just craft them with die in this case. Yeah. Much cheaper than crafting the uh, the, the wool. blue wool. Okay, and then. Okay, so here's here's another thing. Yes. That's great, but um, usually, because you've got the door frames up four blocks high, you want at least one block space of wall material before you hit the roof. So one more. So yeah, one at least one more block high on the walls, uh, just in order to give yourself that that extra bit of space. And then place on top. Right, I'm just gonna get it get out the manual for this. Yeah. So like that? Yeah, so like that, and then you place your elevator, and then you get rid of all the ugly stone there. Yeah, your stone's not ugly. Oh yeah, it's in my... Yeah, it's in my it, it is when it's next to marble and purple. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Alright, so now, what you can do is, uh, 
Okay, if you want the ceiling and the floor from the room above to be different textures, you do need one more space, but, it, you know, you don't have to do that. Mm. I just like to. Well, something I want to test, because I don't know if it actually works, can you put two different slabs in the same slab space? That entirely depends. I don't know if you can do it with vanilla slabs, uh, I know you can do it with slabs that are made using the uh, the chisels or whatever from the... Mm, yeah, the answer is no. The answer would like, appear to be no. Because you've got that saw there. I have a saw? The, the, the chop saw thing. Like, you put it down to the... What does that thing do? That, that just the turns saw blocks into different rods okay. in the same block. Yeah, if you have a way... Maybe facades. You said you had facades? I do have facades. Uh, but they're A facades. Let's see, do I have covers? I don't have covers. There's a manhole cover. I can do something with that. I can't do anything with that. Not, not what we're looking for. Um, Alright, so how do I make facades? That's just cable anchors with a quartz Oh, cutting yeah. Knife. Oh, these are such a pain to make. I hate these things. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna test it with stone. Oh, nope, can't do that. I uh, don't want to use gold. Let's use... Do you have... Oh, look for, um... Look for a saw. Do you have a saw? In, like, anywhere in, in any of your mods? Probably. I just want to test see if I can place this. No, I need to place it on no, cables. No, you, you have to place those on cables. They're oh, yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. We got the chisel and bit saws. Okay, the chisel and bit saw might work. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, hang on. Go, go. I need to see the tooltip for it for a second there. Craft with a block or chisel blocks. Yes, okay. So, use the saw, craft it with one block that you don't care about, and one other block that you don't care about. That's okay. Like blue terracotta. Okay, okay, so, so now, now see if you can put those in the same in the same space. Because that might be a thing you can do. Whoops, I fell. Okay, so once you put it on the bottom, so put whatever you want on the bottom down first. Okay. And, and then, then put the other, try to put the other thing on top of it and see mm, if that'll work. I'm going to have to gonna figure out how to tate it. So, I don't want to place off the grid. Let's try placement of Z. No. Yeah, because there, there's got to be a way to combine those. Rotate. Gosh, darn. My dingus. Yeah, this is this is why I always really liked the way that um Oh which mod which mod was it that added the saw? Uh covers. I don't know which no, one. No, it wasn't it wasn't that, it was um I mean uh, like forge multi blocks, is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, I think it was forge multi blocks. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just I'll just crank it up one. Yeah, forge multi blocks was uh, witchcraft. It was incredible, is what it was. It was real good. Yeah, I used it because the covers were light transparent, so I would put torches yes. under them. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know. Uh... I guess this one doesn't have forge micro blocks. No, that hasn't been a mod for a while. Probably it hasn't been updated in the ages, but oh, it's unfortunate because it was a really good mod. Oh well, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. All right, definitely need more purper. But what would you recommend for the ceiling? What do you want? Um, maybe the Portuguese pavement. How's that look? Hmm, I'm not sure I like it. Okay, uh, how about... 
Let's try the blue terracotta. Yeah, normally I do wood. If you don't have a ton of wood, uh, that's a bit flat. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that. Hmm. Wouldn't want to do another marble because you've got marble as yeah, the wall. Yeah, I've got marble everywhere. I mean, already. you could do smooth stone. Um, I'm not sure I like the like grid you... pattern of of uh of the smooth stone. And oh god, I'm yeah. gonna need a lot more purple. I like the I like the grid pattern of smooth stone myself. Uh, if you don't want a grid pattern, uh, something with connected textures maybe. I'm what not sure connected, connected textures, textures exist right now. Well, let's, uh... Sure, we'll finish, we'll finish placing in the upper floor. Oh, one short. I mean, that's I could, okay. You, you can just put elevator on the other end, too. Somewhere. Boom, there you go. I can get up on both sides. Alright, but then there's the ceiling question. Yes, the ceiling um, question. What do we want to do for the ceiling? Well, maybe some kind of hanging light source. Because... You don't want to make the whole thing out of lights, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, but... Well, I mean, I could, I've could. i got my, my light wand, which makes... Boop! Yeah. Little light thingies. So... Yeah, let's see. What are, what are you working with here? Uh, hmm. what do we got? Luminous glass. Probably going to want some of that. Probably, yeah. I like making windows out of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's no pain version of it. Uh, it's unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Still, I think mm -hmm. that has connected textures on it, and so let's try. Uh, let's try some of this ethereal glass, which is oh, that's so dangerous. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do reverse, which is only solid to players. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. You just don't want to be able to walk through your windows, you know. Well. Actually, speaking of which, I what I could do is ah, uh, it doesn't have connected textures on it. But it hey, not. now nothing can come in that way. Because I mean, I got oh gosh, no, I don't have any. Yeah, it, it doesn't doesn't break cleanly, which kind of stinks as you need an Eye of Ender to make it. Not that those are expensive to me. I have unlimited Ender Pearls and Blaze Rods. Yeah, it's not as big a thing once you got Silk Touch, but... Oh yeah, I do have Silk Touch. Thanks for reminding me. I don't know why I broke it with my bare hand. Yeah, if you got Silk Touch, it's not a problem. Alright, but... Yeah, I do kind of see what you're saying with the purple on purple not working super well. Yeah, it's it's not great. You want a slightly different a different color up there. Uh, stuff that goes good with purple. Let's see. Blue is good. Red is good, but I don't think you want red as the ceiling. Yeah, um, that would never work. Yellow would be okay. Green would not. Green is a little weird with purple. It's it's okay, I guess. But I don't know where you'd find a lot of green blocks to use as a ceiling anyways. Something neutral is a, is a safe bet, but not white. Uh, so you're looking in the brown and gray, sort of. Oh, it's crit spelled with an A in this one. Gray. Uh, hmm. Oh, hey, what are, what are those uh, sort of tiled ones? These ones? The kitchen floors? Yeah, the kitchen floors. Okay. I seem to recall those being a bit of a thing to make. Yeah, it's just quartz yeah, and... Quartz and coal or white and black concrete. Honestly, the quartz and coal is cheaper. Eh, maybe not. Whatever. Because the, the coal is definitely cheaper. I have so much coal. Yep. And I don't use it for much of anything. Alright. Alright, so there's plenty of there, that. There you go. And then, let me check what kind of gray dye I have. I've got a little bit of gray dye. Uh, how do I get more light gray? Uh, I can crush... Uh, but those are 
just an if. Yeah, sense. light gray comes from uh, uh, mystical light gray petals. Yep. And then give me bone meal. My inventory is filling up. Well, that's okay. Most of it's uh, structural blocks. Those will all get placed. Yeah, I'm going to put the iron blocks away for now. Yeah, ditch those for now. You don't need those. We decided to go with obsidian fence instead. Oh, whoops. That's not the right button. Not the right button at all. Okay, let's put away the plants we picked up. Oh gosh, there's also some hemp seeds. Industrial hemp. It's, it's good perfect. stuff. It is. It's great. Just, I don't need it right now. Okay. Alright, there you go. Now you got a whole bunch of... Well, you gotta crush it up and die first. It's not yeah. usable as is. I want to get more than a stack so I don't have to worry about uh, finding more when, if when I get well, when I get back into Batania. Yeah. Admittedly, a floor fertilizer not that expensive, but uh, so let's turn this thing off. And stick you in there. Uh, have you checked out Create very much? No, I haven't. Oh, it's dope. Uh, you you mentioned you mentioned it the other day, and it sounded super cool. I it looked is. into it a little bit, but I haven't done much with it. Like, look look what I've got set up. I've got some water wheels here that aren't doing anything anymore. They were smelting. Uh, then I got the furnace engine powered by the thermal generator and external heater, keeping my crushing wheels going. It's uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It does look cool, and I like multi blocks. Yeah, and they're not pre-made multi-blocks, which I really like. You know, it's, uh, it's, you, you build them um, yourself. Yeah, sort of the old, um, Better Than Wolves style. No clue what you're talking about. Old mod. Fair enough. Alright, so. Alright, oh, whoops. So. It's no good. All right. So put some of those up. Well, not there. You can't cover the uh, the elevators, unfortunately. You were saying? Oh, no, you can. Huh? That's half the point of the elevator. Config. Config options. Fair enough. Yeah, a lot of the packs that I've used have that config set that you can't cover Why? the elevator. Who cares? Ooh, need more. Mm, which does mean I'm gonna have to hunt down some more quartz or figure out how to do concrete. Because you can also make it out of. Uh, yeah, concrete's not super hard, I don't think. You can also make it out of black and white concrete, but there's there's no easy way to oh. automate it. Well, there is, but I just don't have access to it. So. Alright, so I don't want to... Well, if you've got a way to make more quartz. Yeah, it's called digging in the nether. Oof. Well, let's put... No way to automate that? Uh, I mean, I, I could get a digital miner or something, but I don't have that at the moment. Uh, so let's just... Uh, let's just take a little quick trip to I'll the take, nether. Take a quick look at quartz first and see if there's a recipe for it. I highly doubt that. Uh, quartz block, smelt the quartz. Uh, just Batania turning stuff into it, eh? Yeah. And then mining it? Oh, that's a pain. Oh well. Yeah. Mining in the nether it is. It's not that dangerous. I don't like the soul sand, though. See, I, I've downgraded to 7x7 seven seven mining because... Because uh, 9 9 is too much? No, because I wanted to mine obsidian, actually. Because uh -huh. each radial upgrade, which increases the AoE, also takes uh, one of the slots that could be used for the regular upgrades. 
So you have to take one of those out in order to upgrade the mining level. Ah. Uh, well, isn't dangerous. that just interesting? Yeah, besides, 7x7 seven seven mining is generally enough. I mean, hey, I always just use three by three. <laughs> three by three is for old men. I I am one of those. Yeah, no, I got I gotta say it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, apparently the creator of Thermal was worried that people would just stick to the mining gadget over the drill, and it's like, do you see this? Do you see this? Oh, lag spike. Hello, lag spike. Oh, more lava. Yeah, I was just using the, uh, you know, the Tinker's Construct hammers. Yeah, those are good. But uh, Tinker's is not in this pack as of yet. It's not uh, It's not public yet. Probably not updated. Yeah, I know there's lava behind me. I don't care. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, there's nothing. I got more than a stack of it now. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're messing with my quartz. I can't have that. Yeah, I love the digital miner. The digital miner it's is It's a really things. good not quarry. Because it, cause it doesn't quarry, it just... Yes, it's, it's super excellent. Yeah. And, and the fact that it has Silk Touch built into it, although admittedly it's six times the power cost, that is some good stuff. Oh yeah, but usually I'm hooking that up to, uh, well, either something where I don't need to care about power anymore because it's a nuclear reactor, or something that'll just constantly spit out a low-grade stream of power. Or something and... that makes 5,600 RF per tick off water. Yeah, it will just it takes longer, whatever, it's not a big deal, you know? Yeah, it's automated. That's the important thing. Okay. Um, hmm. So let's actually get some end rods just for decoration. Think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean, they, they produce light, too, I'm pretty sure. So. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. I'm pretty sure that end rods are a light source. All right, so let's just get 40 of them. Not that concerned about the resources. I mean, you could test you could test that if you wanted by, like, sticking one in a dark room somewhere. And I don't have dark rooms near here. I got Pharaoh Flare Lantern set up. Yeah. You'd have to find somewhere dark. Well, go to the Nether. I mean, I did just F seven this, so yeah. So th this, these areas okay. are dark. Yeah, there you go. Pop one down somewhere. Yep, they give off yeah. light. Light source. All right, but where to put them? Maybe like right there. Just sticking out. Mm. I, I do like putting things in the corners of my my door frames. Uh, I you... also like putting things. Now, see the nice thing about doing a double layer ceiling, like what you've what you've got here, yes. is that you can use uh, glowstone blocks or some other light emitting block in the ceiling, and not have them be visible on the floor. And it's not visible from the floor above. Yeah, I might just go with more feral flare lanterns, honestly. Oh, I need more glass. Um, and then what, what was I waiting on? I was waiting on quartz. Yeah, see, I already got, uh, 115 quartz. So let's go back to the kitchen. And then upgrade them to light gray. Alright, where's my building gadget? Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, so there you go. You got you got a room. You got. Uh... I just need to fill it with stuff eventually. Yep. 
But you know, this this is a uh, a pretty pretty basic sort of like rectangular, good looking Minecrafty room. Ooh, formula. they stick together. Oh, that's an interesting. Ah, uh, okay. I think I see what's going on here. Yeah. Ooh. Kind of like that. That has that has, that has neat uh, aesthetic. Oh, that's not right uh, at all. Possibilities. No, the the way that it works is that the it's, two adjacent um, ones go together. Yeah. I do like how they instant break. That's nice. Yeah. Nice little corner stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm digging kind of, this. Uh, kind of funny look and pillar things that are adding a bit of visual interest to the room. Taking up space, unfortunately, but... Uh, not much space. Gonna do. Not much space. Okay, so... Interior, interior decoration is mostly, from here, just a matter of... You know, maybe putting stuff on the walls, maybe setting up pillars here and there if you want to. Um... Sort of like you've done with those end rods. Exterior decoration. Let's talk about that for a bit. Because right now, what you got is a box, right? Yes, very Minecrafty. So, how do you make the box more interesting? Witchcraft. Yes, but also no. Okay. So, if you go up to the uh, the top floor for a second, so you can see the sides. Uh, you can see that you don't have anything right now in the corners of the uh Yeah, I was running low, on, running low on purple. So, for the corners of the box, you can do a couple of different things. If you just want to be lazy about it, then you can put in uh, just some other alternate maybe, block. Maybe that stone? That is... Eh, if you can turn endstone into um, and bricks, not looking like just like like yeah, turn it into bricks or something, then that would be a little better. Uh, the other option is, you know, more marble but in a different pattern, like the same one as you used for the uh, the outside of um, the door frames or what have you. Oh, that's what it's doing. Okay. Yeah, so do that in the corners, and then, like, go down to the bottom and see how it looks. Still boxy. Yes, but it will at least be a prettier box. A prettier box. So, yeah, just go down to the bottom and go up to the front and see how that looks. Okay, this is a very endy structure, and I'm okay with that. I made it to the end, I should be proud of it. Yeah, see? Yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's where the elevator is. So it, it, it now looks still like a box, but it looks like a box that is, is bordered in some way. And uh, you can replace all of those marble blocks, like along these the, ones, uh, like all of those, with endstone. Whoops. And now you'll have from the front. Ooh, nice. Yeah. See, so now you got a sort of nice border. You can't see from the, that from the inside once the walls are up, so no big deal there. Let me eat my veggie sandwich. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the other thing you can do. Uh, and I don't like to do this too much on the interior because, well, it takes up space, but greebles! Hmm. What do you think would work well for greebles? Okay, so you know those, um, those, those terracotta, or, uh, no, sorry, not terracotta, the, the Portuguese pavement? Yeah, I put them away. Uh, okay, I'll let... 
I mean, I can get let's, go with Mar let's go with Marvel then, because Marvel is what, what you got. Let's see. Uh, find some sort of marble. Oh, no. Stairs. We want something that can be made into stairs. Mmm. Yes. So let me grab my Portuguese stairs. Sure. Grab those. And uh, can you make Portuguese pavement into wall? Uh, let's check. Mm, no. If you can't, um, grab marble pillar. Okay, I, I can just craft those. Yeah, grab some marble pillar. That's not that's not right. That's not right at all. No. Okay. No, this this is going to be for the outside. Okay. We can build so... it in the inside just so you can see how it looks and then you can put it on the outside or whatever, but yeah, get some get some marble pillar. And I will show you a basic greeble. All right, let's greeble okay. it up. All right. So, put down one stair thing. Uh facing down, and this is going to be the top block, okay? So the... You need three blocks, or four total, depending on how, how big you want this to be. I mean, it'll work with... Eh. Yeah, because marble does that. No, no, no. See, that one on the bottom should be the other way around. Oh! I'm not sure I like the, the bright blue. Okay. It'll work with any any type of stairs, so... Yeah. So, plunk down one of those, and then put two marble pillars on top of it. Yeah. And then put another stair on top of the pillars. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. Nope, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, the other way around, but... Okay. Kind of and cool. I wouldn't have them, like, right on the door frame yeah. like that, because you, you want to be able to see the door frame. But uh, I think you kind of get what I mean, right? Like, I you, do. you put down this little thing and... Oh, I forgot this is an obsidian fence. <laughs> oh, yes, that, that is an obsidian, obsidian fence. Uh, it's, it's honestly probably, probably faster to <laughs> just place down cobblestone to go over the... No! I'm committed! Committed to mining the obsidian fence. Hey, I've got I've got obsidian tier mining. I did it for a reason. All right. So and play don't place it like right on the ground either. Place it one up. Yeah, like that. And plunk down that, and then there you go. Get rid of all that cobblestone and take a look at that from the side. Yeah, it's pretty spiffy. Yeah, really, really simple way to add some visual interest to the outside of your building. Alright, let's plonk the fence back down. And okay. See, there you go. Yeah. That now it looks now it looks a little bit more. We got the end rods on like the inside. Like less of a box. If that, it, it, it looks, looks like, like less of a box now, because it's got yeah. those greebles on it. Hmm. Now, those only work vertically, just because of the way the pillars are, unfortunately, but uh, you can do other stuff with, with the stairs, because the stairs are the same texture as the... Um, like, maybe kind of like that? Yeah, so you can do, you can do stuff like that. Uh, and because of the way stairs work, if you put them out to the side, like that... Oh, does it not... It, I, it should. It, it's worked with some other types of stairs I've used, but maybe not marble stairs. You might have, you might have just not quite placed them right. Go in, go inside and just play around with it, so you don't have to worry about the. Uh... Yeah, see. You just, you just gotta make sure you place it correctly, and then it'll, it'll do the thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's wrong entirely. It, it matters which direction you're facing when you do yeah. this. So yeah, if you go to there and you place one or two like that and then you go mm. over here and then you place it. You know what? Something I did in one of my first ever Minecraft bases way back when I was playing in vanilla, I had lava 
kind of trickling down the sides. Hmm. Think we can work with that yeah. in any way? Yeah, you can do you can do lava coming down the sides. Um, let, me, let me see what other liquid options we have. Ooh, maybe some liquid experience. Liquid experience. I like the sound of that. And I got liquid experience. Oh, like, let's just make sure it behaves like any other fluid. You never know with mod fluids if true. the way they're gonna work, you know? Oh, I need to pipe it out manually. I can do that. Alright, and then... Give, nope, that's not the grid. Give me a tank. You know what? Actually, if this pipe fills with fluid... Yeah, look at that. Let's see how let's see how it looks when it's totally filled up. Okay. Yep, that's definitely something you can do. Yeah. Uh, we would need more fluid pipes, but that's not a huge oh, deal. Oh yeah, but you know they're cheap. They're cheap, and you can build a whole lot of them and fill them up with stuff, and it'll look cool. So. That, that is a good way to do it without requiring a huge amount of space. Because normally if you if you put down a fluid and you want to, like, enclose it or whatever... Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, that looks like it just works like a bog-standard Minecraft fluid. Okay. Let me gather up all the... Oh, wait! It's not quite standard. You don't swim in it. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, interesting indeed. Alright, uh, let me get my bag out and put all that stuff I don't need away. Anyways, the, the big thing with fluids I left the, is that the tank. if you don't want them to spread outwards, you, you need to enclose the source block. Yes. Now, this might be a good use for those um, for the chisel pipes? slab things. Hmm. Let's see, what happens if I just stick you right there? Yeah, no, that doesn't... It'll do that. Yeah, but see, it, it doesn't... You don't swim in it. It's, it's weird. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, grab some... Grab some chiseled, uh, chisel bits, slabs, uh, but vertical ones. Unless you just want to go with the pipe. I might just go with the pipes. And then... I, I, can, I can show you, that, like, the basic idea is that you enclose the source block in vertical slabs instead of, uh, full blocks, just to reduce the profile of the top enclosure a little bit. Oh, that was the last of my emeralds. <laughs> Whoops. You know what? I want easy access to these fluids wherever I go. So let's enter tank it up. Perfect. Let's do it. So yeah, so this will help me keep fluids on hand. You don't go there. You go there. Yep, filling up nice and quick. Take this one first. Maybe just have the fluid pipes looping around the ceiling. Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, I want to. Oh, 
wow, this is already an hour long episode. So I think once we finish this room, yeah, we'll, gonna... we'll probably we'll probably wrap it up after this room. This was just sort of you know giving some basic ideas on how to. Uh, uh, this is definitely better than anything I would have built on my own. How to do aesthetic structures. Yeah, we're learning things today. Nice looking stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hmm, are you... It might not be outputting on its own. So I'm going to need, yeah. Ender tanks, can be, Ender tanks can be picky about that. These pipes are kind of picky too. So I'm going to need an extra pipe so I don't break anything when, uh, when I get rid of the basic attachment. Yeah. It might also only pipe out of the top or bottom. I, I can't remember. No, I think it's just going slow. I could speed it no, up. The other one was going pretty fast. Well, it's not draining because it's filling up much faster than this one is extracting. Yeah, but the pipes aren't filling up either, is what I mean. Mm. Try it from the top. Where do you? Oh, never mind. Well, I'll just I'll just get some more of these. Yeah, that's 800 millibucks every zero seconds, apparently. Yeah, that filled it up. Yeah. Yeah, it only works from the top or bottom. Weird. But there, there you go. go. Now you got this, uh, this, this whole fancy green little thing room. running around the, the top of the. Yeah. This is a decorative freaking room with a nice there looking ex exterior. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, maybe you'll guest star in another future episode. Maybe we'll get a server yeah, working eventually. Yeah, anytime, definitely. I'll uh, you know, come by and hang out and do some Minecraft. All right. You have a good one. And everybody who's watching, you have a good one too. Signing off. Cheers.